How waterproof is waterproof makeup? Today I'll be applying a full face of drugstore waterproof makeup and then putting it to the test. Now, it was supposed to rain today and I specifically planned this video around that forecast. It ended up raining overnight and now it's looking really clear. So you know what that means. I'm gonna have to jump in the pool. So stay tuned for that, but first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. So let's get started with my waterproof foundation. So one of the most popular drugstore foundations this year is actually waterproof, and that's the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation. I still can't wrap my head around how a powder is waterproof waterproof, but that is the official claim on this product. Now I am actually gonna try to apply using the sponge and then I'll blend out with a brush. Cause sometimes when I go in with just the brush straight off the bat, I don't feel like I'm getting the coverage that this advertises, but when I press it in with the sponge, I mean. <laughs> now you might be able to tell that this shade is slightly dark for me, but this product was just so hard to find in stores that I just chose the closest one they had. And with the heat waves recently, I have not been spending a lot of time outside, so I have not gotten my tan on, but this would typically be my summer shade. I'm also hoping that by pressing this foundation in, I'm really getting a good even layer, which will hopefully help the waterproof capabilities. I still can't get over how smooth this foundation looks. It does not look powdery at all. I'm just gonna take a big clean brush and sort of take any excess off the top. For the waterproof brows, technically not drugstore, but still only a dollar from one of my favorite budget beauty brands. This is the AOA Brow Gel. Now this does act a little bit more like a pomade versus a gel, but it is very long lasting and a little goes a long way. Like this tube will last you forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit on the back of my hand here, literally that much. Now, the one thing about this being so pigmented and kind of pomade is that you really wanna go slowly, build it up so that you don't end up with block brows. Now I gotta say, as I'm applying this makeup, I am sweating. <laughs> Y'all know that I live in the desert. It's usually really hot here. We usually don't have humidity though, but because it's been raining, it is way more humid than it normally is and I am not used to it. Moving on to our waterproof eyeshadow. So I did pick these up from the Ulta Beauty makeup line. They are their cream eyeshadows that are supposed to be primer infused and waterproof. So I have the metallic shade in pretty and pink, which is sort of like a taupey silver pink and then throwback, which is a mauve. Now, because these do say that they are primer infused, I'm going to be using them alone straight on my eyelid. And I'm excited. I had never heard of these before, but they seem to make some big claims. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the matte version in throwback first. Ooh, this is a really interesting applicator. It's sort of cone shaped. That's really interesting. Looks very fluffy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this sort of at the outer and inner portion of my lid. I'm going for kind of a halo look today. Bring that into the crease as well. Wow, this is way more pigmented than I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this all over the lid. I was trying to keep the middle part empty, but I think I just need to soften this up a bit. Ooh, this is actually blending out really nicely. Oh wow, this is setting really quickly, okay. But that's typically a good sign when it comes to the longevity. Okay, this is really pretty, just like a little soft smoky moment. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the metallic shade. I'm gonna put that in the center of my lid. Ooh, okay, good. I'm really happy that these shades complement each other. This definitely looks more silver than pink though. I thought maybe it was just my computer screen that made it look more silver because it's called Pretty in Pink, but no, it's definitely silver. How pretty is this eye turning out? And I'm using two products. <laughs> and this is actually blending in pretty easily with the matte one as well. Okay, where have these been all my life? Why is nobody talking about these? These are really cool. So there's your quick two shade cool eyeshadow look. I always get a lot of comments about cool toned eyeshadow. Here you go. <laughs> For my waterproof eyeliner, I'm gonna start out with what I already deemed to be the best drugstore eyeliner pencil. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting Pencil. So I did do a waterproof side-by-side -side test with this and other drugstore eyeliner pencils. I will leave that link below, but I'm gonna go ahead and tight line with this. 
And I did want to throw in a liquid liner as well for this test, so I'll be using the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. This was a very close runner up when I did my tests of the best drugstore liquid liners. I did end up liking the Maybelline one better, but this is very, very solid. Okay, I don't want to get stuck in the cycle of evening out my liner. I think that's good. <laughs> okay, so I don't usually wear waterproof mascara like ever. I just find it pretty difficult to take off at the end of the day. I end up roughing up my eyes even with a really good remover. So I just didn't have any on hand. I did go out and buy a new one. This is the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof Mascara. This was the top rated waterproof mascara on Ulta's website. I've never even heard of this mascara before. It's supposed to give me soft, thick lashes. It's vitamin E infused. And it does say easy removal helps prevent lash loss. So let's try this. Oop, already got some on my lid. Um, hello. I'm not really seeing much of anything happening so far. I'm gonna try to layer it. It does seem like it's staying pretty soft. Like it's not clumping up. It's keeping my lashes relatively separated. Yeah, it's a very thin formula. So at least it won't weigh my lashes down. I'll give it points for lengthening and separating, but I don't know, my lashes look kind of sparse. Okay, so I'm actually getting progressively more excited to jump in the pool because it is so hot and humid. Now, as for my bronzer, blush, and highlight, I am actually gonna be using regular products and then sealing them all in with a waterproof setting spray. So, going into my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, Next, using the Lumi blush from AOA Studio. This is in the shade Wine. It's sort of this like baked marbled pink and gold shade. And because this has shimmer in it, it sort of adds a highlight for you. I'm not gonna add anything on top of that. Now, because I do wanna test how waterproof this foundation is alone, I'm only gonna focus this setting spray on my cheek area. So this is the Essence Fix and Last 18 Hour Makeup Fixing Spray. It has an instant matte effect Effect and it's waterproof. Oh, did you guys see that? That there's like fat drops coming out of this sprayer. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of drops of this product on my chest. The sprayer wasn't the best I've tried. <laughs> Finishing off this waterproof makeup look with the lips. Now, technically, this is not labeled waterproof, but it is the most long lasting matte liquid lipstick at the drugstore. I've done a video testing them side by side. This is the Maybelline Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. Okay, this is the shade Lover. And yeah, I really have no doubt that this is gonna be just fine in water, but let's test. Now, before I jump in the pool, I did wanna do a regular water test with this makeup because waterproof doesn't necessarily mean poolproof because there are chemicals added to pool water. So I've got a mister here and this can, I don't know, simulate the rain that I was hoping was gonna to happen today. It's just filled with tap water. Let's see what happens. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. This would simulate, I don't know, like a hurricane. <laughs> Let me zoom you in so you can see what's going on. So again, this is just tap water. Now I'm seeing some kind of running already. Lips still look fine. And surprisingly, I think the eyeshadow might be okay too. The brows look totally normal. I am gonna pat my face dry and we'll see how disturbed the makeup actually is. So working in a patting motion, trying not to wipe off the makeup. It kind of still looks okay. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I think we're still in business here. Now, I'm definitely picking up a lot of foundation on the towel, but still a lot of makeup on my face. A little bit of pigment coming off the brows. I mean, I really obviously <laughs> went for it there. Here's a side-by-side. -side. Definitely curious about how this is gonna look like when I start editing. But so far, if I was headed somewhere, got caught in a windy rainstorm, I would still feel pretty okay with how I look. All right, let's go jump in the pool. <laughs>
I am back from the pool. I didn't stay very long because some neighborhood children showed up. I didn't want to get them on camera. They were splashing around, but I definitely got a few good dunks in and uh, yeah, let's just check out this makeup. Okay, so as you can see right off the bat, there is a lot of patchiness going on in the blush area. Now, I honestly don't know if that's the foundation breaking down underneath it because just with the regular water spray, the foundation started breaking up right away. But like right here, you can see there's just patches of blush missing. We've got coverage that has disappeared, especially in this area here. The lips still look phenomenal. I think it's pretty safe to say that this lipstick is waterproof, even though they don't label it that way. Let's see, the forehead actually doesn't look awful, though I didn't need a lot of coverage on my forehead anyway. Okay, editing Miranda here. While watching this footage back, I noticed something really interesting. On my forehead, the coverage is almost completely intact compared to the beginning, even after both water tests. And remember what the difference between the forehead and the rest of the face was? This waterproof setting spray. I wanted to isolate these results by doing a test on my arm. So I went ahead and applied the foundation alone, then sprayed it with water. You can see that some of the foundation does run off onto my counter, but it's very slight and the coverage does still look pretty even on my wrist. Then I did the test again, but this time set the foundation with the setting spray, waited for it to dry, then sprayed it with water. The foundation started breaking down almost instantly. You can see from the drips on the counter that there's way more foundation coming off with the setting spray versus without. So weirdly enough, this setting spray actually unwaterproofed the foundation. Let's talk about the eyes and brows though. So the brows have definitely faded a little bit. I do think that they look a bit patchy, but they're still pretty there. They're definitely still darker than normal. And especially up here in front, I like have no hair down here and it's still shaded a little bit. Ooh, my eyes are red, y'all. I did not notice that. Um, this mascara is a little bit interesting because as it got wet in the pool, my lashes are definitely sort of clumped up now, but there's no running or flaking or smudging, so I guess that's something. I just feel like, especially right here, some of my lashes sort of just globbed together. <laughs> They're not as separated or fanned out anymore, but I do appreciate that we have no running happening at all. Same with the tight line with the essence liner. That is still there, a little bit patchy, but again, not running. The liquid liner is still pretty much intact right here near the very, very corner of my eye, I'm seeing a little bit of wear. But again, it's not migrating to other areas of my face, so that's a win in my book. Now, this eyeshadow from the Ulta Beauty brand may be the most surprising out of this entire video. I feel like it's still blended out pretty nicely. I don't think that we lost all that much pigmentation. Even the metallic shade in the middle is still like in place, you know, like it's where I left it. So here they are, the official before and afters. I wanna know which product you think performed the best in this underwater test. Do you have any tried and true waterproof makeup favorites? Let me know what they are in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Jillian. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I try the new budget-friendly makeup from Juicy Couture. I'll see you over there. Bye.